Because the way that we interact with each other affects each other. The way that we interact with other species like animals and plants affects each other. And the way that they react and do things affects us as well. Okay? So that is what, that's what this lesson today is for. Because we're going from the basic relationships of an ecosystem to some more specific relationships in an ecosystem. Which is going to show us how we, for future learning, how we respond to our environment and the environment responds to us. How humans interact with plants and animals also within our ecosystems and our overall world. Okay? Alright, so, first thing we're going to do is watch a little video that's going to review some of our vocabulary that we've learned previously and introduce just a few terms that we have not yet learned. Okay? Thankfully, antlions are small. In fact, doodlebug is evidently another name for these things. I'm not exactly sure how you go from antlion to doodlebug, but okay. It's all relative. They're bad news for an ant. Because the antlion is a predator of the ant. The ant is their prey. That's an ecological relationship right there. And that's what we're going to talk about, ecological relationships. Typically, if we were to graph the predator and prey populations in our example...
cannot easily move these m ms with the spoon, you are welcome to use your fingers if you prefer. They were meant to be done with the spoon. But if that creates issues for you, I don't want that to slow you down. So you feel free to use your fingers if you want to. Um, so much yes, for I think that. that's about it. If you need help, you may ask me or Miss Ashery for assistance, or you may ask another student in your group. Okay? Don't get upset if your species does not win. Okay? In this, in this activity, you are going to be representing a species in an ecosystem. Sometimes your species might be competing, sometimes it might be mutualistic, sometimes it might be commensalistic, and sometimes it might be parasitic. You'll find out as you move along. Uh, part of your goal is to figure out which thing your species is supposed to be doing, okay? It's supposed to be which uh, relationship it's supposed to be representing. And you can help each other with that. Did anything that species A did affect species C? No. So do they have a relationship? No. no. So none. No relationship on that one. What about B and C? Everyone. 